Sunny Bonani guys and welcome to another video. Now if there's one thing Undi Buti will do, it's to be honest with her viewers, especially about the business side of YouTube, right? So Undi Buti was the voice and face behind the gossip channel The Tea World and she had done it anonymously for some time until she decided to start showing her face and started, you know, doing videos where she would be on screen. But majority of what had channel is about was her doing celebrity and gossip stories um, and then doing a voiceover without showing her face on camera so about two months ago she handed over the channel to a new management team that now does the stories and the voiceovers so basically the new people find stories that they're going to talk about and they also do the voiceovers to those stories right so for a few weeks now There'd been this hot thing at the beginning and um, an entry that was basically asking people to watch the ads to the show, right? And Undibuti finally did a video addressing the whole thing. So this is what she said. She said, even though the channel has been getting views, they are way lower than what they were getting when she was still doing the channel and she was still doing the voiceovers. Um, now, she did say that her target would be 20 videos a day. That They do very short videos, like two minutes, 2.5 minutes max but it's usually one minute 45 seconds and stuff like that so her target would be 20 videos a day as well as 4 million views a month so she said there's a decrease in the actual number of views that they get um and an actual decrease in the number of people that watch the ads that are incorporated in the videos now she did mention that the new management does about 15 or less videos in a day so the decrease in views may be due to that um as well but at least it should be matching up to at least 2 million views a month if they say that they're doing 15 videos around 15 videos when she was doing 20 a day right so it should add up to at least half of what she was doing which was 4 million so it should be around 2 million a month um so she said that for um november which was is this month um the views now the view count are around 500,000 rands now it is still mid month so they may still go up to a million by the end of the month um and she said that for october the views were around 1.5 million views right and monetarily, she said that the channel is now making less than half of what it was doing, right? So it's not only the views that have went drastically down from 4 million to like 1.5. They only peaked at 1.5 million. Um, she said that the channel is also making less than half of what she's doing. So she said that she never made less than 40, 80,000 rand a month on the channel when she was still in charge. And now it's making less than 40,000 rand a month. And she said that that makes it difficult for those that are managing the channel to pay the workers, you know, the people that compile the stories to pay themselves, you know, the person that does the voiceovers, as well as to pay her as a majority shareholder of the channel. She still has shareholding of the channel. She just gave away the management component of it. So she still, you know, gets paid from what the channel makes. So she then said that as a shareholder, she took a decision that she would be doing a new segment on the T-World where she'll be showing her face and basically she just wants to see if there'll be any improvement, right? So she was just telling people not to be alarmed when they now start seeing videos of Fundi Buti doing them um, on camera and not merely just the stories of the T-World, right? So here's my thing. Here's what I think about this whole situation. I'll say this. Most businesses, and especially YouTube channels, they operate on goodwill and brand loyalty, right? So over the time and over the years, especially Undi Buti, I think she started doing the T-World late 2018. So it's been quite a few years, around two to three years that she's been doing it. A lot of people have gotten accustomed to hearing her voice first. A lot of people have gotten accustomed to just her and her style of doing things. Um, and they may have been more loyal to her as Undi Wuti versus the channel and the brand of the T-World. So when the channel lost her, it may it's very much possible that a lot of people were like, okay, we're not going to watch anymore because it's not Undi Wuti, right? The voice. Um, now, I, I, I still watched after it had changed because I was watching before, but I wasn't really too much. I preferred most of the channels where she would be on camera which was Ndibu T as well as life with Ndibu T um but yeah um like I said 
YouTube, YouTube, YouTube channels to be specific. Like someone will say that I'm going to watch the video because I know it's this person. And I know if I'm watching it, this person gets money. Like there'll be people in the comment section saying, guys, let's watch the videos and support da 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 da. Right now, how they went about this whole thing. I think they could have done better or they could have went about it in, in a better way. Und Ibuti could have prepared her viewers and her watchers a bit more about the change that was coming because we were all watching the channel and then all of a Sunday it's a different voice. I'm like, yeah, what's happening? And then I think it took a week for Undi Buti to do a video where she was addressing everything. I don't know, maybe she did that on purpose. Maybe she was trying to create this stir where people would be talking about it and saying, hey, but what happened? Did she t sell the channel and whatever? And maybe she thought that would great gain traction for her channel but even if that was the case it was going to be very short-lived because if you if you operate in such a way and you have people that are dependent on hearing you and stuff like that and they are loyal to you and your brand you tell them well in advance with the guys there's going to be a change that is coming but please know that you are still supporting me i am still in the background so if you still watch the videos i still get the money it's not someone else different because i think she let the whole thing on, go on for like a week where people were saying hasn't Dibouti sold the channel and all that good stuff so during that whole period i suspect they may have lost a lot of loyalty they may have lost a lot of viewers that did not take the time to wait a week to find out Tsuguti Undibuti was actually still part of the channel. So I think they could have done better how they went about it. Now, of course, Undibuti has been doing this for years, so she probably had her reasons for going about it that way. But I think that also may have contributed to how things eventually happened and ended up so that she may have lost a lot of brand loyalty she may have lost a lot of goodwill which would um explain why there's a there's a lot less viewership of the actual videos and why there's a lot less viewership of the um, the videos there's probably a lot of diehard fans that were like if it's not Dibuti's voice i'm not watching the channel and i'm not watching the videos and then there's probably me who is i'm i'm indifferent i'm like in the middle i couldn't care more or less i like i said i'm indifferent so i could watch or hear another person um i was like okay it was a good transition champ and i was happy to see Uti, like they were still getting the views per video but it seems like the combination of doing less videos and um just they were already they were already said to lose some people with changing the voice whenever there's a, a change there is some good with it but also a lot of bad with it so i think it was already given that there would be some negative negativity or like a downside a bit but yeah i do think how they went about the whole thing did not help just waking up one day yesterday you were hearing a different voice today you're hearing another voice definitely did not help and yeah, I, I don't know why they did that. But another thing, it's only been a month and a half a month. It's been a month and a half. There's still a lot of room for improvement, a lot of room for growth. You don't just take over a business and you expect it to continue going the same way from the start. The new lady that is doing the voiceovers and the new team and management team, they are still going to build their own um they're still going to build their own following. They're still going to build their own people that are going to be loyal to them, right? So it's. I think it's still too early for them to start calling it like problems or think there's this serious thing that is wrong or going on. Now, given they can do a bit better, um, it is a bit alarming, but it's honestly just been a month, like it hasn't even been two months. So I think they should give each other like a three month um, period to see, Uguzi, is it further going down from the first month or there was a slump and then there's um some improvement right but yeah guys let me know what you think about this whole thing do you um do you still watch the channel do you care that it's a different voice uh, do you watch the videos what do you think about the whole business of youtube if you do have a bit of insight um on youtube uh, my take did it make sense on the whole goodwill and brand loyalty thing let me know what you think in the comment section but yeah guys hit that like button if you like this video hit subscribe if you want to hear more from this channel but yeah that is it for this video guys until next time